Welcome back to Morning After, everyone. The nation is about to meet Dr. Joya Griffin. She is a dermatologist for animals. And the stuff she sees, Jenny, let's take a look. Buttercup. Buttercup's coming in today. I'm anxious to see how she's been doing. She was the youngest and smallest dog I've ever treated with Pemphigus. And she was doing very poorly at last visit. I was actually worried if she was going to make it or not. I'm so sorry. Oh, Dr. Joya Griffin joining us from Los Angeles this morning with more on the upcoming show. Congratulations, launching January 1st on Nat Geo Wild. People can stream it on Disney as well. What was the experience like for you to let the world into what you do every day? It was amazing. I've always wanted to share what I do, and I feel like I have a story to tell, and the the patients that we treat are so endearing, and their pet parents are amazing, and I, I just, I can't wait for you guys to see it. So I'm curious how you found this profession. How you, you know, as a little girl, were you really intrigued by these sort of skin issues and animals, or how did this come about? Yeah, I actually, as a child, I mean, I knew I wanted to be a veterinarian, but I did not know that a veterinary dermatologist existed, as many of, much of the world does not know, and hopefully now will know. But I really was introduced to the field with, um, through my own pet, Gizmo. She had severe skin disease and lived in an e-collar for over a year. And when I got accepted to Cornell and I started school there, I took her straight to the dermatology service. And it was truly amazing to see the transformation they were able to make in my own pet. She went from this stinky, smelly dog that had the worst quality of life to one that was happy and healthy and had fully regrown her hair and was beautiful again. And it was, it was just amazing and it meant a lot to us. And that dog lived to be 13 and a half. So I saw firsthand what a dermatologist could do and I wanted to do that same thing for my patients. Now I, there's a comparison here and I hope you take it as a compliment. We all, we love Dr. Sandra Lee and, and- I Pim thought you were gonna say that, Dr. Pimple Popper. And Dr. Pimple Popper, she's been here on the show and it's almost like the, the, the animal version of some of what we've seen on, on her show, not just the, the gross factor, there's a little bit of that, but also the transformation we see it yeah. in her human patients that they regain a sense of themselves and a sense of health and and I'm seeing it in that video with that with that small dog that you helped restore I'm seeing there's almost that same sense of I'm back and my life is good Absolutely. I mean, it's like extreme makeover, right? So um, I have been called the veterinary version of Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> I love her show. It's extremely disgusting. Um, my show is, <laughs> is somewhat like that. Not not all of it, you know, but I want to say it is also very family friendly. My four-year-old twins love it, and uh, they've watched the uh, sneak peek <laughs> that came out um, on Thanksgiving. They've watched that on repeat. So <laughs> yeah, what are the twins <laughs> they can handle say? it. I think both viewers can. What do the twins I'm sorry. think of yeah, what do the twins think of this of, of mom, you know, having this profession with animals and now, you know, being a on TV? A TV star. Yeah. yeah. Well, they always have loved coming to work with me. Like they they asked to come to work with me. <laughs> so, there was one day where I had to bring them because of um, childcare issues during the pandemic and they loved it. Uh, they weren't seeing the cases <laughs> that I treat. They were kind of in the background, but seeing me on their television, I, I mean, they they just can't believe it. They laugh at all my jokes, which is great. I'm landing those well, so. <laughs> well, we are very excited that we can now go to work with you, not just your children. We can go to work with you because it looks like what you've created there is a work environment of camaraderie, of love and compassion and caring for these animals. So congratulations, Dr. Joya. It is Pop Goes the Vet with Dr. Joya. It premieres on January 1st, 9 p.m. Central on Nat Geo, and you can stream it on Disney Plus as well. I love it. And, and Dr. Pimple Popper for animals. I see here that they have like the satisfying, because some people really like have a thing for watching Oh yeah, you get on the YouTube, issues. oh yes, and you get on there and it's a satisfying thing for some people. It is, I, my, I think I might be some people. Like I like following Dr. Pimple Popper and I'm gonna follow it Dr. It creates Griffin. a little anxiety, but I can't stop watching. It's, what is, I don't know what I that don't is. Know. That's a, that's we'll bring in someone else for that. That's, yes. that's for a psychologist, yeah. Um, when we